for you guys today are canoas this is um, a sweet plantain that's fried and you fill it with um, ground beef and potatoes so yeah if you want to know how I make my version of it keep watching I'm going to show you the ingredients next so what I have here is two packs of 90% um, it's ground beef but it's 90% lean I have two packs so I'm gonna make two pounds I have three plantains these are dumb they look terrible on the outside they look like they're black and stuff but believe me it's goodness in the inside nice and sweet and just remember the darker that it is the sweeter it is so I have three here you can make as much or as little as you want this is all I'm making until more people arrive later on today I have a medium onion chopped I mean not onion I'm sorry potato uh, cut it up really small um, I have adobo to season my meat if you don't have adobo by all means salt and pepper a little bit of garlic powder onion powder and you're good a packet of sazon a can of tomato sauce I'm going to use the whole thing and one of these cucharones of sofrito so now we're going to the stove to get cooking like always forgot to tell you uh, cheese you can use mozzarella you can use cheddar I have the Fiesta blend, it's a few different kinds. Any cheese that melts, this is all you need. Okay guys, I'm clicking my stove on, completely on high. I'm gonna let this heat up a little bit. Put my meat in here. I'm doing two packs, because I'm not just cooking for myself, my husband and Gabby. I'm cooking for my other daughter and her hubby. I told him I was gonna make this for him a long time ago. I've been slacking. So yeah, just cut that up real good. I have it on high because I'm browning it, guys. But after I brown it, I'm going to put a little bit of water in it and I'm going to cover it because I want this meat to be extra soft. I don't just brown it and just keep cooking. That meat stays hard and I don't like it. I already have a video on how to make my picadillo, but I'm going to be making the whole thing. So. Yeah. And we're having this with white rice, food pinto beans, and this was requested by one of my beautiful, lovely subbies that I love so much. Crystal, this one's for you, but appreciate it because it's hot over here. Guys, and yes, you're going to keep cutting down your meat, okay? Till it browns. This is the point where I like to add my adobo. Remember, I have two pounds. Why is it? There you go. I have two pounds, so I put enough of it, but not extra salty. And just keep breaking up that meat, guys. You want it as loose as possible, okay? Like I said, guys, once this meat browns, that is completely brown. I'm going to add half a cup of water, to three-fourths cup of water, and I'm going to cook it in low heat for 15 minutes, okay guys? Okay guys, my meat is brown. I had already added a little bit of water. I added three-fourths cup of water to this. I'm going to put this on low so that it can cook. And I'm also going to add my potato. Remember it was a medium potato that I used. If you like more potatoes, use a big one or use you know as much as you like and if you don't like the potatoes you don't have to even add them if you don't want to so I put my timer already here for 15 minutes so I'm gonna let that cook low and slow until the potatoes tender or just 15 minutes guys even the potatoes not done we're still gonna we have still gotta stew it with sofrito and tomato sauce okay my timer went off 15 minutes have passed my meat has no more water this has a little bit of fat that it rendered. The potatoes are not fully, yep, they're a little bit hard still. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add my sofrito, put this back on high now. I'm gonna add my sofrito. I 
right away. The sofrito gives off smell. A beautiful, beautiful smell. Mm -hmm. I remember I put that in high, I just said. We're going to let that cook off a little bit. You can hear the sizzle. In this pot, I'm cooking my uh, homemade cooked beans so that I can make food beans later on with the white rice. Yeah, you can hear some of that sizzle. Make it small. Okay, guys. I'm gonna add my whole can of tomato sauce. And my packet of sesame. At this time, you've already had all your ingredients in there. Uh, just so you know, I had already tasted my meat when it browned. It didn't need any more adobo or salt and pepper, whatever you decided to add to yours. Mine was perfectly seasoned with a little bit of adobo that I used, and that was enough. So now it's on high. It's cooking really well. I'm going to leave this here for about another minute. Then we're going to put it back on low, and we're going to cook this again for another 15 minutes. Okay, guys? We need to cook off that um, tomato sauce so it doesn't have that canned flavor. So we're gonna cook it on low again for 15 minutes, okay guys? So I will be putting my timer down. Starting now. I'm gonna lower the heat. Mix it around one more time. And then I'm just gonna add my lid back on for 15 minutes. So we will catch you back here again. Okay guys, I have like 12 minutes left on my uh, timer. And I decided that I'm going to peel and cut my um, plantains and basically fry them. We have time, why not, right? So, just going to cut off the ends on this and make a thin line all the way down. This is so easy because it's not green anymore, so it just peels like a regular banana, guys. No science to this. Remember, the darker they are, the sweeter they are. But you don't want it extremely black. I mean, it's good, but not for this because when you're frying them, it'll break apart on you. Because then it'll be too soft, you know. So it can't be too hard because it won't be sweet enough. Not too dark because it'll break apart on you. This is like the happy medium right here. So yeah, guys. I was supposed to do this video so long ago. I remember even talking about it and I totally forgot. But Crystal, Crystal, my faithful viewer, my beautiful subby. Yeah, she reminded me a few times. Guys, I'm very forgetful. Okay, guys, other people fry them whole like this. I don't. I leave like half an, an inch and I make the line in the inside where it's See, you leave like three-fourths of an inch to an inch on the inside where it's rounded. Don't Please don't pierce all the way through. You're not supposed to. Oh, that one went crooked. But it's okay. It's okay. This is from the peel. You can just take that off. So if anybody else makes this, let me know how you make yours. Everybody, I mean, Puerto Rico's a small country, but everybody does things differently. Same thing with this one. Make sure to leave about an inch. There you go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to fry them. Give me one minute while I clean up and go to the stove. Here's my pan. It's already on medium high. Just pouring a little bit of oil. Yeah, you don't you want it to cover your whole bottom pan of the pan and just feel for it can't be too hot guys you don't want to burn the outside of your 
platano of your sweet plantain. Um, just so you know, I added one more plantain because my son-in-law, yeah, he's like an animal. This oil needed to be a little hotter, but we're good, still good. Oh, just burn my fucking finger. And one more. So I have four. I'm gonna cook these during like a medium high. You don't want them to. You don't want it to be too high and burn them. Okay, guys, it's gonna be time to turn them. I don't know why I did it like this. But. I'm trying to be gentle, but I'm trying not to break them. I guess I could have browned a little bit more. But you get the gist of it. It's going to be looking like this. And I cooked it like maybe two or three minutes on that side. Remember, they're sweet. They're not going to take long to cook. So it's going to be time to remove for at least one or two of them. Yeah. This is completely done. Please be careful. Do not line your pan or your plate with a paper towel because it's going to stick and you could break your plantain. So, yeah, don't do that. I'm going to get a little bit more on this side. This is the mother one. This is cute. Oh, I like that condensation on it. Beautiful. I did a thing in for a little bit longer. Guys, don't overcrowd your pan. That's what I did. And, yeah, big mistake. Not really. Nothing major happens, but, you know, it's more uncomfortable. Make sure you put it on a plate like this so it don't stick, okay? Oh, it's kind of sticking a little bit. Be gentle, be careful not to break them. And after they're all out, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. Just give me one minute. Okay guys, as you can see, I, my plantains are here. I just took all my meat and I put it in this bowl. It's gonna be easier to deal with. Uh, as you can see, I'm already making my rice. So what I have now is a 9 by 13 um, dish and it's going to be the best way to do this because like I said these plantains are huge. Put it this way. But remember I want to turn it around to where I make that slip. So that's going to be a little hassle because oh my god because it doesn't want to turn that's why. You don't have to handle them with your hands, guys. Ooh. Find your slit. Where's my slit? Don't go all the way through, guys. Okay. Like this. okay. Same thing for all of them. Do the same thing for all of them, guys. You might have to use your hands for this because they're hard to turn. Make sure your slit's right here. Guys, it's super hot, guys. Oy, oy, oy. Next. This one, I think, was one of the sweetest ones. The one that's coming. Okay. Let's see where it's full is. And then your next one. See that little bit of oil that was left on that plantain after you fried it? Then let it stick to the plate, guys. Ooh. That's my split right here. Okay, let's find that dirty stuff on the nails. Guys, so with a spoon, got my rice set is done. Make sure you open up that plantain really well, really well. And then what you want to do is you want to stuff it. You want to stuff it real good with your meat. Add a lot of meat, as much or as little as you like. I did it at olive like I said I would, guys, because guess what? Princess Gabby doesn't want me with olives. So I depraved myself. Okay, you go see. Make it open. 
make an opening and then you just stuff that open go hard with your meat guys do not be cheap a lot a lot of meat well <laughs> as much as your canoa can handle better yet there you go let the meat overflow let me get you guys closer Delicious. Guys, it smells so good. It smells delish. That's a lie. I know a lot of people who say that. There you go. Overstuffed. You know these canoas are so huge. Wait, let me open this a little bit more because... Oh, I just went through it. But then the only way I'm going to be able to stop. Oh, yeah. It smells amazing in my kitchen. My rice is already done, too. I just got to stew my beans. And it's time for lunch. I'm going to have the mother of all lunches, guys. Incredible. Okay, so there we go. Now, what you want to do is... You want to take your cheese, cheese of your choice, remember, and put as much or as little as you want. Remember, there are people who are lactose intolerant. You don't have to add the cheese if you don't want to. Or if you just don't like cheese, don't add it. But it gives it that special something. You know what I mean? Look at that. Stuff the cheese also. I love cheese. People from my family love cheese. But my sister, my sister Chato, yeah. She ate so much cheese during her pregnancy that my niece was born with a tooth, guys. Believe it or not, she had people running, nurses and doctors running in the hospital trying to find that baby that was born with that one tooth. Yes, look at how delicious this is, guys. Now, what you guys are going to do is you're going to... Oh, I should have told you to preheat your oven to 350 first when we first took them out. Preheat your oven to 350 and you're going to put these in there for at least 10 to 12 minutes or from 8 to 10 minutes. As long as your cheese is melted, you're good to go. So we're going to do that now. Okay guys, so as you can see, the canoas are done. Cheese is nicely melted. This is one heavy dish guys. It's full of meat. So, just to tell you, 350 the oven and it took me like 8 to 10 minutes. It didn't even go to 12 minutes. But I think I, it did go like to 10. I didn't check the timer. But yeah, I was just checking just to make sure that the cheese just got melted. Everything else was already cooked, so it didn't matter. So now, I get to try this. And here's my plate. You know what, guys? I'm only going to do half because I still got to cook my other food. Look at this, guys. Amazing. <gasps> Ay, ay, ay. That's the mother of all bloopers right there. Aww. I wanted it turned up because of my cheese. But that's okay. It's all going to go to the same plate, right? So no worries. Let me get a fork and tell you all how it turned out. Man, my cheese. Anyways, this is how it's supposed to be. Okay, guys, here goes. First bite. You grab some more of that cheese up here. Get it. Nice melty cheese, a lot of meat, and my plantain. Mmm, 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 So good. Mmm. -hmm. The sweetness of the plantain against the uh, savory of the meat and the cheese, it's a perfect match. It is so good. It is delicious. I'm actually going to do another video on this, what I'm going to be eating it with. It's going to be white rice and stewed pinto beans. I would have preferred arroba glandules, but this one's for Crystal, and this is how she requested it. So here you go, Mama. Cheers. Mmm-hmm. 
real good. Real hot. Forgive me, guys. I look like trash, but it's hot. I'm sweating in here. Crystal made me sweat. So, yeah, guys. If you like this video, no, this recipe, try it. Let me know how it turned out for you. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Um, I have more videos coming for you. I have a Jello video coming for you. Maybe tomorrow or maybe Monday. One of those two days. But um, yeah. Thank you for watching. God bless you and stay tuned for more. Bye.